Good morning. Welcome to the forecast discussion for August 22nd, 2013. Of course, it's Thursday morning. It's currently 8.40 a.m. And we have rather mild temperatures out there, lower to mid-70s along the coast in the Philadelphia and New York City metropolitan areas. And we have upper 60s to lower 70s over the northern interior and also showers and thunderstorms. And some of those thunderstorms are producing very heavy downpours over portions of central New Jersey and that will lift up towards New York City for later on this morning, let's say around 9, 30, 10 a.m., producing very heavy downpours, poor visibility, and a potential for localized flash flooding. Along with that, temperatures are going to be rather muggy today with uh, temperatures ranging in the mid to upper 80s away from the coast, lower to mid 80s along the coast with high levels of humidity making it feel rather uncomfortable out there. And along with that, as a cold front moves through, the potential for scattered showers and thunderstorms at any time. Taking a look at the surface map, you can see we have one disturbance that is currently moving through the Philadelphia and New York City metropolitan area. You can see that with this weakness right here. And then we have our main cold front way back here over portions of the St. Lawrence River Valley, back through the central Great Lakes, and then back towards the upper Midwest and central plains. This cold front will move through by tonight producing scattered showers and thunderstorms, but also will bring an end to these muggy conditions and leading us to a very comfortable and pleasant weather pattern for this weekend. On the radar, we can see as of, again, about 8.41 a.m., we have very strong thunderstorms moving through central New Jersey. Now, none of this is severe. I really don't expect much in the way of severe thunderstorms in this setup. Can't rule out an isolated severe thunderstorm, but for the most part, I think the primary threat here will be the potential for very heavy downpours and wind gusts up to about 50 miles per hour. Frequent lightning has also been reported with some of these thunderstorms, especially the one moving into Middlesex County, New Jersey. And these thunderstorms, for the most part, will feature basically cloud to cloud, cloud to cloud, excuse me, lightning, but some ground to cloud lightning as well. But I think the primary threat here is going to be the very heavy downpours because uh, this is going to come up on you very quickly and produce rainfall amounts that will lead to localized flash flooding and major ponding on roadways. So if you get caught in one of these thunderstorms, take your time, slow down, do not speed, do not try to you know, race through the thunderstorm here because they can produce hydroplaning and some serious problems. We have some more showers and thunderstorms over the over northern New Jersey and into the Hudson River Valley, just off of Long Island and of also over eastern Pennsylvania. This is all associated with the first disturbance. And then we have our cold front way back here. So this first disturbance moves through, we get a break, and then another line of scattered showers and thunderstorms becoming widely scattered to isolated by the time we get to tonight. On the infrared satellite picture, you can see that first disturbance and then our cold front. And then this high pressure system is going to be the dominant player for this weekend. So by the time we get to tomorrow afternoon, this high pressure system will be in complete control, transporting drier air on a northwesterly wind and cooler air as well. How cool? How about highs in the mid to upper 70s along the coast, lower to mid 80s everywhere else, and very low levels of humidity. Perfect for any outdoor occasion. Unfortunately, we'll have to get through these showers and thunderstorms today into tomorrow morning to get to that point. On the water vapor satellite picture, I just want to bring this up real fast. You can clearly see this disturbance. Now, the reason why we're going to see a break is that these two disturbances, this disturbance here and this trough here, did not phase or come together. So as a result, we're going to get a separation in influences from these two disturbances. So the first batch moves through this morning with this disturbance. And then a second batch moves through this evening with this cold front and this disturbance. So as a result, we'll see a bit of a break in the afternoon. I can't rule out a shower and thunderstorm, but I think they'll be widely scattered to isolated as we'll be in between these two influences over the Philadelphia and New York City metropolitan areas. Here is what's called the RAP model guide. This is basically a rapid update, okay? So it basically takes the observations that are happening now and then puts out a forecast out to about 11 to 18 hours. Now in this case, what we have is here we have the showers and thunderstorms from this morning, for this morning moving through. It's about an hour behind. That way you can see whether or not the model is handling this uh, event properly. 
As you can see, those showers and thunderstorms moved through this morning, lift up towards Connecticut by late this morning into the afternoon hours with periods of heavy rainfall. But notice, to the west of this period of heavy rainfall, we get a bit of a break. So this afternoon, over portions of, well, much of New Jersey, especially over western New Jersey and eastern Pennsylvania, you end up with a break. You still see there's a few chance of a few isolated showers here and there. But for the most part, many locations are dry this afternoon because we're in between the cold front and this disturbance. By the time we head towards this evening, the cold front will start to approach. Again, scat showers and thunderstorms, but nothing here is really standing out to me to being severe or even widespread. There'll be scat showers. You'll be at the threat for a scat shower this afternoon and this evening, but I don't expect any widespread washout rainfall here. The thunderstorms that would, that do develop will be capable of very heavy downpours. Let me be very clear about that. But they won't last all night. They'll move through, last about 30 to 45 minutes, and then exit. So that's gonna that trend's going to continue on through the evening hours. But notice even towards the later part of the evening, let's say about 8 p.m. or so, these really start to collapse. And by the time we get into the evening hours, let's say around 10 p.m., Really, most of these showers and thunderstorms will dissipate. They'll become isolated in nature. So if you have any plans for this evening, let's say going to a baseball game or something of that nature, yes, there'll be potential for delays in, in whatever baseball game you see. Uh, there will be a threat for showers and thunderstorms, but I think they'll play through these thunderstorms, and I think they'll be generally weak in nature. So this cold front is going to finally move through tonight. And then by tomorrow morning, it will start to push to the south and east of the coast. So during the morning tomorrow, look for scattered showers, but they'll be exiting from southwest to northeast. So the further northeast you are, the more likely you'll have dry conditions. So basically much of northeastern Pennsylvania and northwestern New Jersey by tomorrow morning, dry conditions and clearing skies will be taking hold. And that will work its way south and east through the day tomorrow, with temperatures in the lower to mid-80s and humidity falling through the day. The most humid conditions are going to be tomorrow morning uh, throughout the day, uh, basically with temperatures in the upper 60s to lower 70s as that dry air starts to work in. So again, by tomorrow evening, high pressure is in complete control, humidity is falling, skies are clearing, perfect weather conditions to go out and enjoy the weather with temperatures falling back into the 60s. For the weekend, high pressure in complete control for Saturday, Sunday, and Monday with low humidity. Temperatures basically in the mid to upper 70s along the coast, low to mid 80s everywhere else. Light winds and no threat for any type of rainfall. So this weekend is going to be absolutely beautiful. Again, for Tuesday and Wednesday, we're going to be dealing with a few disturbances moving through. Nothing widespread in nature as far as the showers and thunderstorms. But again, you're going to be at the threat each afternoon with these disturbances moving through. Not everyone will see the rain, but the threat is there. And temperatures will remain pretty much near normal in the mid 80s, lower to mid 80s along the immediate coast, and low temperatures in the mid to upper 60s. Well, that is your forecast discussion for today. Of course, I'm your meteorologist, Stephen DiMartino. Follow the latest weather information at nynjpaweather.com and nynjpaweather on Twitter and Facebook. Have a wonderful day. Stay safe out there.